Here we have a semicircle, and AD is the diameter of it. And inside of it, we have two triangles, the orange one at BEC, which is right triangle, with an angle of 26 degrees. And there's another green triangle with an angle of 58 degrees. And we ask to find an angle X. Let's start with finding all the angles we can find here before doing additional constructions. So first of all, we have this orange right triangle. We know two angles in this triangle, so we can find the third one. That angle is going to be 64 degrees. Next thing, let's connect point A and B. In this case, we're going to get an inscribed or cyclic quadrilateral A, B, C, D. And we know that quadrilateral is inscribed if and only if sum of opposite angles is 180 degrees. So this angle B plus angle D should give us 180 degrees. One of them is 58 degrees, so the other one has to be 122 degrees. But part of this 122 degrees is this angle of 64 degrees. So the remaining part should be 58 degrees. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to connect point B and D. Notice that inscribed triangle ABD has a side AD, which is the diameter of a circle. And therefore, the angle opposite of the diameter has to be 90 degrees. So this angle B or ABD is 90 degrees. Part of that angle is 58 degrees. So the other part has to be 32 degrees. But now notice this 32 degrees is part of the angle of 64 degrees. So the other part also has to be 32 degrees. That pretty much all we can do is this semicircle we have here by connecting different vertices. So now let's complete this circle and let's extend the line BE until it become a line BF. And now we're going to take this point F and connect with point D and point C. And now let's look at this angle of 32 degrees here, this red angle FBD. This is an inscribed angle that intercepts arc FD. But notice this angle C here, or angle FCD. That is also an inscribed angle that is also intercept the same arc FD. And therefore, those two inscribed angles have to be congruent. So this angle here also has to be 32 degrees. But now let's look at this green triangle, CGD. We know two angles in this triangle, 32 and 58 degrees. Therefore, the remaining angle is 90 degrees. It's a right triangle. And now we can see that point F is really a reflection of a point C over the diameter AD. And therefore, CG should be equal to FG. Now that's really one way to show it. The other way to look at it is to notice that the center of a circle, which lays on a diameter AD, also has to lay on the line that is at 90 degrees to secant CF and goes through the middle of that segment. The third way to show that G is in the middle of segment CF is, for example, to look at this angle of 32 degrees here. We know that this is inscribed angle that intercepts the arc DF. And look at the top angle of 32 degrees, which is also an inscribed angle that intercepts the arc CD. Since this inscribed angles are congruent, the arcs they intercept are also congruent. So CD should be congruent to DF. But it also means that the segments that connect the end of those arcs have to be congruent. So CD should be congruent to DF. But now if you look at this green triangle, right triangle, 
and the triangle FGD. We notice that they're both right triangles. These triangles have congruent hypotenuse. CD is congruent to DF. And they also share leg GD. Therefore, by Pythagorean theorem, the other leg CG should be equal to GF. You can show it this way, so obviously there are probably a million ways how to do it. I'll just show you three. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to look at these two triangles, the yellow triangle and the green triangle. These triangles are congruent. They're congruent by two sides and an angle. The side we're talking about CG and GF, the angle of 90 degrees, and the other side, the side EG, which they share. And since they're congruent, corresponding sides and angles should be congruent. In particular, these purple angles should be congruent. But now notice that this bottom purple angle, GEF, is congruent to this angle, AEB. And that's because those two angles are vertical angles. And now look at this big angle AED. This angle is 180 degrees. It consists of one angle of 90 degrees and two congruent purple angles. And therefore, each of those angles should be 45 degrees. And now if you look at the yellow triangle, one angle is 45 degrees, the other angle is 90 degrees, the third angle has to be 45 degrees. And now we're pretty much done. Notice that the angle we're looking for, angle X, is the sum of these two angles, of so angle 45 degrees and angle 32 degrees. And that gives us 77 degrees as a final answer.